All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to clean up dirty tracks. So we're going to take a vocal track with way too much noise in the background, and I'm going to clean it up to make it usable. Sometimes you might get a song to mix from a client where they recorded in their bedroom or their living room, and unfortunately, there's a lot of noise in the background, like a refrigerator running or maybe an air conditioner. So I'm going to play you the vocal I have right now, and you will hear that background noise in it. You don't have a way. Lock it in my cage I will take your soul So you can hear, like if I highlight a little section here You'll hear all that background noise in there So in order to clean this up, we are going to use Isotope Voice Denoise Now there are newer versions of this, but they all work pretty much the same It's immediately going to clean up your track, as you can hear here Lock it in my cage. Now you can hear how you can barely hear that. And then if we take the threshold all the way up and really take that reduction down. What's next? You don't have a way. And alternatively, if you wanted to do it a better way, you could take a little loop of some of that background noise. And instead of adaptive mode, you could just click the learn button. Now, if we go back and play that again. You don't have a way Lock it in my cage I will take your There's soul. a lot less background noise, and of course, if we see increase that next. threshold and that reduction, you it's going to take a lot of it away. Way. And now, you're ready to mix that vocal. You could go ahead and print that, and then start EQing and compressing and de-essing. All right, guys, that's it for today. I will talk to you next week.